Yeah, because the reason it works when we're forgetful is our brains aren't dead. So let me show you the difference between forgetful and having dementia. And let's see if it, it's familiar to any of you. Okay, you ready? Here's how it starts. I'm in the living room, and I decide, I decide, you know what? I've been watching TV. I'm getting thirsty. I am going to go make a pot of coffee because I want some coffee drink. That's what I'm going to go do. So I get up, and I head toward the kitchen. And I decide, yeah, I'm going to go make coffee. But before I can get all the way in the kitchen, telephone rings. So I stop to answer the telephone. Hello? Oh, hey, Betty. Huh? No good to hear from you. Oh, sure, I'd love to get together. Oh, okay, this afternoon? Yeah, yeah, what time? Two? Okay. Where? At the mall? Yeah, okay, well, which end? Down by Macy's. Okay, you want to meet inside or out? Out? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. Huh? Oh, yeah, they opened that chocolate store, didn't they? Oh, sure. Oh, no, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah. You get coconut, I'll get caramels. We'll share half the calories. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> huh? Oh, no, I'll call Margaret and say she wants to come. Sure. No, that's fine. Huh? Oh. Oh, the vacation pictures? Yeah, I'll bring them. Wait till you see yourself in that bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. All right, well, I'll see you soon. Okay, I have two. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. What did I come in here for? And I look around, and it's like, son of a gun. Now, when I was 25, I could have looked around, and it would have come to me in the, in the kitchen. Not anymore. I actually go, okay, wait a minute. Where was it? It was in the living room. Go back to the living room. Then I was sitting here watching TV. As I sit down, coughing. Why could I not remember this? This is ridiculous. I want to cough. This is, I am losing it. Now, notice everyone in this room has gotten incredibly quiet. <laughs> because all of you are going, oh shit, I have this. <laughs> you do. You do. It's called senile forgetfulness. It is getting worse. You peaked at 25. It's been downhill ever since. <laughs> well, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I wish. Here's what happens. I have a thought. And what I do when I have a thought, I want to make coffee. What I do is I put it in working memory. Now, working memory is a real important part of your brain because it allows you to stay focused on a task or hold multiple pieces of information in your brain at one time. Here's the bad news. It's very small. It can only hold about five to eight chunks of information at a time. It allows you to multitask, to organize, to plan, to do things. So I put coffee in that working memory and I go to make coffee. But before I can make the coffee, what happens? Telephone rings. If Betty had just said hi, bye, I could have still made coffee. But Bet's Betty. She wants to meet today at 2 o'clock at the mall, down by Macy's, outside. We're going to go eat chocolate. Who am I not going to call? Margaret, what will I not have with me? Pictures. Pictures. Why? Too many things. I lost them. Now, those of you who've been living with forgetfulness for a while, what have you started putting right next to the telephone? <laughs> Notepad. And if it's happened for a good long while, you have tied the pencil on. <laughs> because if not, you walk off and then the next time you don't have anything to write with. Okay? Here's what happens though. Where's coffee? Long gone, it got dumped out because of all the stuff that Betty wanted to talk about. Here's what I could do at 25. I could look around the environment and I could have picked up on a visual cue and it would have been real simple. It was the coffee pot because I'd done so few things in the kitchen that seeing the coffee pot was enough. By the time I'm 55, how many things have y'all done in the kitchen? <laughs> Way too many. And so you look around and the coffee pot will not jump out at you anymore. What you have to literally do is go back for a stronger cue. I need a stronger episodic cue to tell me. So what I have to do is go back to where I had the thought. I have to be physically in the place. I've got to get myself mentally in the place. Visual cue, verbal cue, touch cue. And as soon as I get back there and I'm in the right place, there it is, make coffee. Mm. Is it irritating? Is it frustrating? But when you get cues, can you, can you modify your behavior? Yeah. yeah, because you're normal. That's normal. Let me show you dementia. 
I know, some people are going, oh, God, I'm normal. <laughs> Here's dementia. Starts off the same. Here I am, I'm sitting, I'm watching a movie, I decide I want coffee. I go to the kitchen. Phone rings. I talk to Betty. We're going to meet at 2 o'clock at the mall. I hang up. All that happened. I look around in the kitchen. Aha. Uh -huh. Look here. I told my son there were people sneaking up through the basement and stealing toilet paper and eating my food. Here is the evidence I have been looking for. See this dirty glass? Well, they left it behind this time. I told him they were sneaking up through the basement. See, that's, there it is. I'm going to put this in the freezer so when he gets his soda out, his ice out for his soda, he will, he will see it. And that glaze will be right there. Sure enough. Now, let's see. What else was I going to do? Well, look here. Here's another piece. See, they get in here. They don't even finish it off. That is ridiculous. Do you see what I'm saying? These people. Now, what's that? Do I need to put this back in the kitchen. And I spend the day roaming about, doing things that are illogical exactly, except they make sense to me because I'm just picking up on what? Whatever is around, yeah, but I'm not hooking it all together. At 10 minutes after 2, the telephone rings. Now, y'all just got what? Your reminder, didn't you? Your remember cue. And it worked for you, but for me, I've got dementia. Hello? Well, hey, Betty. How are you? Where am I? Well, I'm at home. Where are you? Well, what are you doing at the mall? Well, if you wanted me to come to the mall, you should have called. Betty, I can't read your mind, sweetheart. I mean, I, huh? No, you didn't call me. It wasn't me. Betty, I have not talked to you today. I don't know who you talked to. It wasn't me. Huh? No, Betty, it wasn't me. Did you call Margaret? Maybe you called Margaret. Talk to her. Betty, listen, I hate to be ugly, but I think you better call the doctor. I think you may have that dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Not normal. Not normal at all. Is it going to help to tell me to remember? Because can I? No. No, and this is where we've got to change. When it's no longer forgetfulness, when forgetfulness is not the issue, saying, don't you remember, reminding me is not going to help. We need a change in gear. Yes? But aren't there any act 